This production is brought to you by the University of Edinburgh. Welcome along. The topic of this session is using if and else statements in MATLAB. If and else statements are a form of decision making and they allow different bits of your code to execute depending on certain conditions. Now you've seen in the handout some simple examples of using if and else statements to look at the value of a number and print a statement out depending on what that value is. In this session we're going to look at a slightly more realistic example involving calculating the volume of water in a water tower given the height of the water. You can see from the details of the example that if the water height is between 0 and 19 metres then the volume of water is calculated from the cylindrical portion of the tank. However, from 19 metres up to the top of the tank, the volume of water is the cylindrical portion and also a conical portion. So we're going to use an if statement to handle this. We're going to write this example as a function. So the first thing we'll do is open a new M file and complete the function definition line. So this is going to be a function. The output of our function is the volume of water. And we'll call our function name water vol. And the input to the function is going to be the height. And now we'll just put some comments in to describe the function and state the author and date the function was written on. So as per usual, we're going to start by defining our variable dictionary. And we'll have a variable called volume, which is an output. And it holds the volume of water in the tank. We have a second variable height is an input and it holds the height of water in the tank. We'll also have a local variable called RH which is used in calculating the volume of water in the conical portion of the tank. So the first thing we want to do is use an if statement to look at the condition where the height of the water is less than or equal to 19 meters. So we'll simply say if height is less than or equal to 19 meters then we just want to calculate the volume using the formula for a cylinder which is pi times 12 and a half squared which is the radius squared times the height And that's the first part of our if statement. Now if the height is anything other than 19 or less, we must be in the top portion of the tank. Therefore we need to calculate the volume based on the cylinder and the shortened cone. So we use an else condition now. 
Okay, so we'll calculate the local variable RH, which forms part of the volume. and then we'll calculate the volume itself. And now we'll end our if-else statement. And just to make this a little bit more readable, we'll use the three dots which indicate line continuation and move this second part of the formula to a separate line. So that's our function ready to test now. And we'll save it. And now we can test running it from the command window. And we'll test our function with the two examples a height of 8 meters and then a height of 25.7 meters. So we'll call our first volume V1 and that will be waterfall the height of 8 meters. And that returns the answer that we're given. And our volume 2 will be a waterfall with a height of 25.7 meters. And again that returns the correct answer. This production is copyright, the University of Edinburgh.